Now, just because you have a rotator cuff tear doesn't necessarily mean you need surgery. We uh, frequently start with conservative measures like physical therapy, we'll do injections sometimes, um, and we'll do things to see if we can get you to function without actually having to repair a rotator cuff. But if you really have a tear um, and it's symptomatic, and it's affecting your life, we're very successful at fixing rotator cuff tears now. So a small tear that's one or two centimeters in size has about a 90% success rate, meaning that nine out of 10 patients, if you ask them five years after rotator cuff uh, repair how they're doing, they'll say that it was a really good procedure and they felt like it helped them a lot. Now, over the past seven or eight years, we have a new technology uh, that's called a superior capsular reconstruction. Basically, when your rotator cuff is torn and retracted, we can actually replace that rotator cuff by doing that superior capsular reconstruction. Now, it's not replacing the whole rotator cuff. It's just simply replacing the part of the rotator cuff that holds the shoulder down so the shoulder can function. So over time, we developed it to the point where we can actually do this arthroscopically. So for a superior capsule reconstruction, we take a graft that comes from somebody else and we replace the rotator cuff with this dermal graft and we do it arthroscopically so that you don't get a large incision and we're able to put it in there. And, and the results over the past five years have been looking really good. We don't really know how it's going to hold up over 10, 15, 20 years because we don't have the studies on that yet. But as far as improving patients' function, getting rid of pain, and making patients happy, it seems to be a very good operation.